Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do an updated flip through of my planner. I'm still in my white Moterm in personal size. Some of you might have seen over on Instagram that I mentioned I moved back into my Giulio Slim Campagna in the matte black Krakow. And I did move into it because I wanted to downsize. I've been feeling pretty overwhelmed with everything going on in the world and I just wanted to like mentally and physically declutter and lighten up the load, I guess. So I moved into my slim, but that only lasted a few days because I just, no matter how much I eliminated, and I eliminated a ton of stuff, the rings are just a little bit too small. Like when I was turning the pages, the pages would get caught on each other, so they wouldn't turn very smoothly, which really bothered me a lot. The pages would bend a little bit and stuff like that. So I ended up moving back into my Moterm. Um, I did still try to keep things more minimal. I tried to consolidate some planning, which I'll show you. A lot of the stuff has stayed the same, so I'll just briefly like flip through those parts, but I'll make sure to point out anything that has changed or has been updated since the last flip through. Right away in the front, things have changed. So in this side zip pocket, I was keeping stickers and I switched it out for keeping just a couple of my sticky notes in here. I love these sticky notes and I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I just popped them into this zip pocket. And then in this pocket here, I keep my washi card. I love it so much, it's so pretty. I hardly use washi, but I'm hoping keeping my washi here on my planner will prompt me to use it more. Or at the very least, it's just super pretty to look at. <laughs> so I keep that right in there. This little pocket here is empty right now because I'm waiting for some page flags and I'm gonna stick those right there because I do use page flags a lot. So it's gonna get a prominent spot in my planner. This little pocket here, right now I'm just keeping one of my favorite planner cards and then just some removable labels that I use as page flags. This is the main thing that has changed my dashboard. It was this dashboard, so I still have it in there, but I just moved it to the back side. And I moved this vellum and planner card from the August stationery kit to the front because I just thought changing up my front dashboard every month or every so often will keep things fresh and kind of match my mood or match the season, stuff like that. So I thought this was super cute. I put a clear acetate over it just to protect it and bound it together with the gold Ollie clip I always have there. And then so this dashboard used to be in the front. I still love it. It's still like my mini dream board or vision board that I keep in my planner. So I just put it here and I used my first divider. My first divider is for the year um, planning and I used it to cover this dashboard as well just to protect it because it is just paper. I get a lot of questions about this so I wanted to just let you know that I made this photo collage in Canva. I'll link these like websites and shops down below, but this was made in Canva and then I downloaded that image, opened it up in Photoshop and then just put this text over it in Photoshop and then printed it all out. So it's not layered per se, it's just one printout and then I put it behind the first divider to protect it. So that's my dashboard. And then this is something new, which I love a lot. This card holder is from Catspresso. It's a three business card holder. It has these like, I don't know what this is called, um, like holographic, I guess, stars on it, which I thought was so cute. And I just keep one of our planner cards in here, Hustle and Heart, the Planner Spot business card, and the Salmon Co. membership card just as a little motivation, you know, to hustle and to do what I love to do. Thought that was super cute. So that's on that side. And then when you flip it over on the back is a photo of me, my husband and my girls, this planner card that says love, and then me and my three kids there. And the next few pages are the same as always. It's the year at a glance. I use the clear or the transparent dots to mark my menstrual cycle. Then my goals pages are pretty much the same. One little change is I now have two sets of this year overview. 
one for personal and then I broke out the business stuff just so I can start jotting down ideas and planning more in advance. This all pretty much stayed the same. I mentioned before that I'm typing it now because I'm always tweaking it and so it's easier just to make the change on the computer and then reprint out the page rather than write everything in. So these are just my planning routines and my recurring tasks for month, week, and day planning. And then the next section is my monthly section. So something you're gonna see too is um, we're prepping for our 2021 inserts. So I'm playing around with different designs. So the monthly insert, this is pretty much the same as always, but I'm tweaking or experimenting with the front page. This front page used to look more like this where it had goals and tasks. I found that kind of redundant with my goals pages. So I thought maybe a perpetual calendar would work nicely there. And so I have that there on the front page. Like I said, this page pretty much will stay the same. And then the notes on the back. So I have September through December in here right now. Um, usually I keep the whole year, but because I'm just redesigning or tweaking the designs of our monthly inserts, I kind of put away the old ones and keeping the newer design in here. And then at the back after December, I keep the 2021 important dates just for forward planning. Then my next section is weekly. It's my same weekly fold out that I've had and have been using for years. However, I am playing with this, uh, the design. I'm experimenting. This weekly overview used to be on this flap right here, but I moved it to the front um, to see how that would work out. I use mine for meal planning, but you can use it for anything you want. And then here, I, I'm trying a habit tracker. I'm still iffy on this. I really like the way it looks, but I'm not sure if everyone has a need for this many spaces for habits. Let me know in the comments below what you think. This side of the flap has remained the same. This part has remained the same. And then the back has remained the same. So that's my weekly insert. And one thing that I've changed is I added more. I usually only keep the current week insert in my planner. This time I added the inserts for the whole month of September. And the reason I did that is because I thought that the next time I do a flip through, um, I want to try to do a flip through once per month to show you what has been updated, what has changed. I thought it'd be cool to flip through the entire month of weeklies. And then my next section is my daily section. And this is, um, this is actually a free printable on my website. It has a little bit of a different font, but it's still script. Um, I changed it to this font because this is a new font that I've been loving lately. Um, so it's basically my morning routine, evening routine, and just the different things I do. So for the free download, you can fill that in yourself, type it in or write it in. And then I have my daily pages here. So this little Ollie clip, this black Ollie clip actually holds the place of my current day but here's my past day so this is another thing i'm doing i usually empty out any of the old inserts and only keep one week worth of daily inserts but i decided to try to keep a whole month i thought the next flip through would be more interesting to see all the different pages so here's all the days that have passed so far my daily pages are pretty minimal only a little bit of stickers here and there and then i have this same card holder from foxy fix it has two slots and i keep my task card in here and then i'm playing around with this section it, it keeps changing right now i have it as a monthly habit tracker and then i have my other vellum from the august stationery sub just clipped together on the back just kind of as a cute background so this is like a gray croc Croco kind of design and then this is just some note paper just take you some notes and then like I said I have a whole month's worth of daily pages in here and then this is probably one of the biggest changes in the back so these four dividers in the back they're not um, labeled anymore because I'm still trying to play around with how I want to organize this but basically what was happening 
is um, if you remember, if you watched my old videos, then you might remember that I had a month on one page um, insert in each one of these sections and I used it as a project planning insert, which really worked out great for me. But because I'm in this kind of headspace where I'm super overwhelmed and I'm trying to simplify, I just felt like when I was planning out my weeks and stuff, I had to look in so many different places for planning out my week. And so what I wanna do is consolidate it all and put it on one monthly calendar. Now we're gonna see if that will work out because I don't like to overload this view. It gets too overwhelming and too confusing for my brain if it's filled in too much. Um, this is still a work in progress here. I've been playing with it all week long, but the goal is to have all the monthly planning here and not back here. So that's why I took out all those month on one page project inserts. I took them all out and I'm planning to plug in the info here. And then back here, I'm just gonna use it for tracking things. So this first divider is for personal, tracking some health numbers and my savings challenge. And then something new I added is emergency contacts because I was just thinking the other day, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that um, we were on the border of the California wildfires, like literally the fire was right over the hill from us. We were close to having to evacuate. Thankfully, we didn't have to, but during that time I was thinking, if we had to evacuate, if we were at a place with no power, if our phones died and I needed phone numbers to reach people, I don't know anybody's phone numbers except for my sons and my husband's. <laughs> and so it would be nice to have all our close friends and family's numbers handy. So I printed it out here. And then I just have some blank note paper. The second section is kind of um, in progress. I think it's gonna be my admin section for the shop. So things that don't fall under like product and content would kind of go here. So weekly revenue, um, shop tracker, and then any kind of notes or something like any business related project where I need to take notes there. And then the next section is for the shop, like the product stuff. So I have our monthly sub tracker as well as our Salmon Co. membership tracker, some notes about designs I have to do and restock and stuff like that. And so this is just blank paper. And then the last section is for collabs. I'm starting to um, partner up with a couple of brands to do collaborations and it's still brand new to me. I just did my first one, so I don't even know if this information is useful, but it's something to start off with and then I'll tweak it as needed. But I wanted to mention since we're on this topic that I am gonna start doing a little bit of collabs, not a ton, and I promise you guys that we'll I will only promote or talk about things that I truly use, I truly back and love. I would never, you know, sell out and just promote something for the sake of promoting it or whatever. So I just want to put that out there right now. Um, I have a fun video coming up soon. It'll either be right before this video or right after this video, but it's my very first collab and I'm super excited about it. And then that's it. Those are the four sections. And like I said, I took out the calendar pages because I want to consolidate all that planning onto one monthly view. And these back sections will be just for tracking and notes. And then the next section is um, separated by this page marker. This is from our August Salmon Co. Happy Mail. So it's just a page marker with a crown. I keep it pretty plain because I like that minimalist look. Plus I thought um, people can add their own customization to this with stickers or pockets and stuff. But I use this to separate my back section, which are these sticky notes. This is another um, card holder from Catspresso with those same holographic stars. And it has two pockets and I use it for my two most used sticky notes. And then I have a page lifter back here. Same as always, I have my task cards there my favorite erasable friction pen. I have note paper here. And then in this pocket, I just have some other paper there just for like an inbox for some paperwork I had to take care of. So yeah, 
that's pretty much it. A lot of stuff has stayed the same. I feel like the bones of it has stayed the same. And even though I've added inserts, like, you know, added more weeklies and dailies, I feel like text-wise or content-wise, I've really tried to consolidate it to make things simpler, to kind of go back to the basics. And I just feel like my brain is a lot lighter this way. So this view, I'll keep you guys updated on how I use this, if it works out for me. I know a lot of people in the planner community have a hard time figuring out what to do with this view. So I'll share what I end up doing with this in a future video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. It's not a game, it's a red stick.